Hey, what's going on everyone? Vasette here at Outdoors with V. Hope everyone's doing well. I just got a new tent. I'm super, super excited to share this with you guys. Just got it, I'm about to open it up. This is the Teton Sports Mountain Ultra four-person tent in red. Let's get started. First things first, I am on my property for this product episode. For those of you who have not checked out my very first and only product episode on the Nature Hike Titanium Mini Stove, in that episode, I told everyone that when I get gear, when I have gear to test out, new gear, so on and so forth, I come onto my property, pitch a tent up, try out a new stove, try out a new fire pit, uh, a new sleeping bag, whatever the case is, a new tarp, you know, tarp pole, so on and so forth. I always test it out on my property before heading out on my adventure. So today, that's what we're gonna be doing. Thank you for coming along with me and let's check out this tent. All right, let's open it up and go over a component breakdown. First, you have the Rainfly, a gear net, gear loft, tent poles, tent stakes and guidelines, and the tent body. Let's put together the tent body and we'll come back. All right, everyone, I have the main tent body set up here. As you can see, very, very simple and easy dome structure set up, not hard at all. Let's go ahead and put the fly on. In terms of positioning the fly onto the tent body, there is a buckle with a red strap. You wanna match it with the only red strap on the bottom of your tent where the stake points are. So there's only one red strap at the bottom of the tent body. Uh, where you're staking it out. So match this red one with that one and you're set. Pro tip, always, always use a footprint to protect the bottom of your tent. In this case, this footprint is still sticking out from the bottom of the tent here. I'm gonna go ahead and fold this over and tuck it underneath. And the reason for that is when I'm out here using this, if there was ever a chance of rain or anything like that. If rain were to fall onto this footprint, what will happen is if you don't tuck it underneath, it'll collect and puddle here and then it will get under your tent. You don't want that to happen. Protect your tent and it'll protect you. So let's go ahead and do this and I'll bring y'all back.
The tent is all set up here. I went ahead and staked out the sides and the front and the back. So we were all good to go here. I'm not gonna guide this out for the purpose of this video. I wanna keep things short, but I went ahead and did everything else. I also wanna show you on the top of the tent, there's also two vents on each side. Let me show you. You have this vent here. And another vent on the other side. Right off the bat, as soon as I saw the tent body, you guys saw it as well. Nothing but mesh. Mesh covering the entire tent. And what that means is, this is the perfect three season tent that will allow airflow to get inside your tent. That way you're not super uncomfortable at night. You're not super hot. So let's go ahead and open up the fly here and head inside the tent. All right, everybody, we are inside the tent. Like I said, tons and tons of mesh. I'm looking at the material. Everything feels really good. Mesh feels fantastic. Airflow is definitely coming in. Like I showed y'all, there were air vents on top of the tent as well. I opened those up. I can definitely feel the airflow coming in. The sides of the tent, I staked those out. You can feel the air coming from the bottom inside the tent. That is super, super important for airflow. Also, this side is not open. Obviously, this side is. So I can open that and get even more airflow coming in on a dry night. So yeah, so far so good. Another very important aspect of the tent, I'm noticing all of the seams are taped. That's a very good thing. Not sure if y'all can notice this or not, but I am standing, but I am somewhat slouched. This tent has a peak height of 58 inches. I am five foot six, so I am on my feet. This makes it really easy to get changed, move around, sit down, so on and so forth. If you're taller than five six, you'll be obviously more slouched than me, but very easy tent to move around in. All right, everybody, let's talk about the stats on this tent. So I have my phone out and I have all the information pulled up. The shell material, floor material, and tent inner wall material, the fabric. That is made of a 150D polyester Oxford. The tent poles are made of a 7001 aluminum. The Rainfly material, that is a 66D three millimeter ripstop. As far as the dimensions, it measures at 95 by 80 by 58. In terms of weight, this one is the four person, as I stated earlier, so it's not a backpacking tent or anything like that. It is, God, I'm trying not to look at my phone. It is 10.1 pounds for the four person. In terms of the three person, 8.7 pounds. There's a two person as well, 7.2 for that one. And the one person, that comes in at 4.7 pounds. In terms of colors, obviously we have the red one, but there's also a yellow and a gray. In terms of cost, this particular tent, the four person, it is $199 on Amazon and $199 on the Teton Sports website. With that said, everyone, I probably forgot a statistic that you all want to know. If you have any questions about this tent though, I promise you I will answer them. Please comment down below, send me an email, send me an Instagram message, whatever you want to do. I'll be here to answer these questions for you. So far, I'm loving this tent. This is the first time I open it, it's the first time I put it up, first time, you know, getting a up close and personal look at it. I'll say this, I love everything about it, except one thing so far. Y'all have heard me say this in my adventures, some tents come with the worst, the, the absolute worst tent stakes. Let's see, do I have them here? Uh, yep. Right here. These tent stakes, they are worthless. I've already accidentally stepped on one of them like twice and it's bent. I don't know, I don't know. You figure tent manufacturers would give you better tent stakes, but look, you can always buy your own tent stakes. Y'all know this, I have my own, I have several. I am not gonna use these tent stakes that came with this tent. I'm gonna use my own. As a matter of fact, I might just 
put these in my garage for like, you know, to put down a tarp or something for the kids. I don't know, but this isn't gonna work. All right, everyone, that is the end of this product episode. I'd like to thank all of you for joining me here today. What do y'all think of this tent? Tell me what your thoughts are. Do you like the color? Do you like the way it sets up? Do you prefer a four person tent, three person, two person, one person, six person, whatever the case is. I enjoy all tents of all sizes. Lately, y'all have seen me use big tents, but sooner or later, y'all are gonna start seeing me backpacking and using smaller tents. I can't wait. For today's case though, what do y'all think? Comment down below, send me an email, send me an Instagram. In terms of product episodes, I am gonna be doing more of these. Uh, I've decided that the way this channel is gonna go, I'm gonna be doing product episodes, first looks. I'm not sure how it's going to go in terms of order. However, I can promise you that there will be more content, there will be more filming, so I can't wait. I'm gonna be taking this out on my next adventure. We only have a few weeks of like nice warm-ish weather. So it's gonna start getting really cold and it's not gonna make a whole lot of sense to use this out in the wilderness. So uh, you're gonna start seeing me use different stuff as it gets colder, but definitely gonna test this out. Cannot wait. Thank you again, everyone for joining me. Have a great weekend. Talk to you next time. Oh, and have a great week coming up. Take care.